This is an industrial sewing machine tensioner. Does the thought of adjusting your thread tension give you a tension headache? In this video I'll give examples of good tension and bad tension. And I'll try to take some of the stress out of thread tension. So be sure to pay attention. So sewing uh, has always been about the amount of tension that gets put on the thread in order to make a stitch. And when sewing by hand, you often see this type of a movement, this, this testing your tension to make sure you get the right amount of pressure on the thread so that that stitch is formed and just tight enough. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. So you often see this sort of testing the thread tension. And so the thread tension when you're sewing by hand is completely intuitive. And you don't really think of it as thread tension. But this sort of judgment call that you do when you're hand stitching has to be dialed into a machine somehow. That's where the thread tensioner comes in. Most of your sewing machines are of the lock stitch variety. For a sewing machine to make a lock stitch, it uses two threads. One thread is on the bobbin, and the other thread comes from a spool. And so this top thread and this bottom thread are used together to make a lock stitch. Setting thread tensions between the top and the bottom is a balancing act and you want those to meet in the middle. So in this figure you can see the top thread and the bottom thread meet halfway in the middle. In this next figure we see an example of the top tension being too tight pulling the bottom thread all the way up to the top. And finally in figure 3 an example of the top tension being too loose. And so in this example, the machine is unable to pull the bottom thread up into the fabric. So what we're looking for is that Goldilocks adjustment, where the machine can pull the bottom thread up into the fabric halfway. Not too tight, not too loose. So when we talk about thread tension, 90 to 95 percent of all our adjustments will be done right here at the upper thread tensioner. We'll just say thread tensioner. So one thing you need to know is righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if we turn it to the right, we tighten the tension. If we turn to the left, we loosen the tension. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's pretty easy to make the adjustments. A lot of times you can make adjustments on the fly based on what you're seeing in your sewing project. When you change threads, when you change sewing projects, you may need to tweak this some. Different thread sizes, different project thicknesses and consistencies can cause you to need to change thread tension. And the easiest way to do it is right here. So let's look at some different stitches so that we know when that we need to make an adjustment here. I have two colors of thread. I've got white thread in the bottom. In the top I've got a black thread. So what I'm going to do now is loosen this top tension and make it way too loose. This is a common problem and what it causes is uh, what people describe as a rat's nest. So if you have a rat's nest your problem may be a thread tension that's too loose like this. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, and now my work is stuck in the machine. So we've definitely got a problem here. So a seemingly simple adjustment on this has caused my machine to lock up. And I've caused myself quite a problem. But I'm going to get to the bottom of it and then uh, I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, classic rat's nest. Let's look at the top. 
Here we are on the top. Everything looks good. But in the bottom, we've got all this black thread. All this top thread is on the bottom of the work. So again, black's on top, white's on bottom, but we've got all this black thread on the bottom. And we've got great big loops of it. So what's happening here is the sewing machine makes loops to form the stitch. When you have the proper tension, the take-up lever pulls that thread back up. When you don't have enough tension, that take-up lever moves up and nothing happens. That loop stays down in the bottom of the machine underneath the fabric like this and causes all sorts of havoc. So if you see this, that rat's nest, then your top tension is probably too loose and your work is going to be stuck in the machine and you may think that there's something horribly wrong with your machine. In fact, it's just a tension issue. So I cut all this off just so it doesn't cause me any more issues. Let's see if we can get this a little less messed up. Alright, now at least we don't have a rat's nest, but you can see some black thread within the stitch. If the bottom has too much tension or the top not enough, then the top thread shows on the bottom. So that tells me the top tension is not tight enough. Rat's nest, way too loose. Black threads on the bottom, just slightly loose. So now I can make adjustments in the quarter, half turn range. Make a half turn and try again. See where you're at. Alright, now I'm not seeing any black thread on the bottom. And there's no, no white thread on the top, so I'm back in business. Let's just keep going. Let's tighten it up. Three half turns and see what happens. Okay. Now I'm starting to see some white thread in the top. Let's tighten it up just a little bit more. See if we can make this even worse. All right, now we got a stitch that's good and out of out of adjustment. All kinds of white showing up on the top. So the bottom looks good. What's happening is the the top thread is so tight that it's pulling that bottom thread to the top. Now if I grab this top thread and pull on it in effect putting too much tension on the top thread you can see that the bottom thread is pulled to the top it's like a tug of war between the bottom thread and the top thread and right now on this line the top thread is is winning we want the top thread and the bottom thread to be equally matched and meeting in the middle so when this is the case you want to loosen your top tension A little more. Alright, so I've got it back into, yeah, there's no black on the bottom, and there's no white on the top. So now the top thread and the bottom thread are meeting somewhere in the middle of this thickness of the project. There's a top tensioner and there's a bottom tensioner. The old wisdom has it that you should never touch the bottom tension and only the top tension. But if that were true, why would there be a tensioner on the bottom? It is true that typically most of your tension adjustments can be handled here on the top tensioner. But there are cases when the bottom tensioner does need to be adjusted. Some of those cases might include if you go from a very small thread to a very large thread, the tensioner is basically a clearance and so that bigger thread is going to not fit through that clearance quite as easily and so you might actually need to loosen the tension in general the bottom tension should feel pretty light so here we are at the bobbin hook and case the bobbin fits inside the case 
the case has the tension adjustment. Now right here you can see there's two screws. There's this back one and there's this front one. The back one just holds the spring in place. The front one is the adjustment screw. Maybe right there you can see where the thread comes out from underneath that leaf spring. Tension adjustment screw is tightened. It applies greater pressure on the leaf spring increasing the lower thread tension. Conversely if I loosen this screw it releases some pressure on the this leaf spring reducing bottom thread tension. This is awful hard to see. Let's try something easier. Here's a home machine bobbin case. So here's where the thread comes out from underneath that spring. The screw farthest away from the thread deployment is the screw that holds on the spring. This screw closest to the thread adjusts the spring. So as I tighten this down, it increases tension on the spring and that increases the tension required for the machine to pull the thread out. These adjustments are quarter to an eighth of a turn at a time. These are very small parts. You need the proper tools and care needs to be taken so as to not lose the items or damage them. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I've got all kinds of sewing machine videos and sewing projects. So if you're not a subscriber, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it.